All right, here's the deal. I'm not really advocating for this. I'm not suggesting you need to do this, but if you feel like it, you might want to give it a try because this thing here that I'm about to tell you might save you a lot of strokes the next time you play disc golf. So the thing I'm about to tell you is a very unconventional sidearm grip. Some people probably have naturally tried this and found it helpful. Some people think it's so stupid that they don't even give it a try. And I can't blame them for it because it really feels stupid. It looks stupid. It sounds stupid. And yeah, it down right is. But if you're one of those players who don't even have an emergency sidearm in their pocket. I mean those really you need to throw a sidearm to get out of the bush or to get a look for the par or save a bogey, a hundred footer just out of the rough type of situations. You uh, yank the disc to the ground, burn it to the ground, throw wobbly rollers. This actually could save a few strokes even more for every round you play. I was a sidearm dominant player, I would say, for the first six, seven years. And even after that, for maybe five or six years, when I was really active, all approach shots, basically, I did throwing sidearm. And the grip I used back then was this, a three finger sidearm grip. It means that I use my ring finger to release the disc. And this is a grip that is really not advocated by anyone. I haven't seen anyone talk about this kind of grip and I can't blame them. It really feels awkward at first. And if you try to learn it, well, give it a, a few dozen of tries until it doesn't slip out of your hand because that's the trick. Normally, when you overturn your forearm like this and the disc wobbles down to the ground, you have a cut roller, there are two factors in play. The first one is that you roll over like this. That's a given. That happens most of the time. The second reason is you have too much flesh on your grip so that even if you try to release it cleanly you have so much finger in play that it just the, the disc just sticks in your hand and that gives a very inconsistent dirty release it's not a clean release you have probably heard the cue serve the pizza or one of the variations that implies that you would have to throw showing your palm to the sky that's a bad cue because when you throw, you want to have maximum amount of wrist mobility here. If you show your palm to the sky, you reduce the mobility. So it is a band-aid solution. It will for sure reduce the urge to keep your forearm over and it will for sure keep the disc level but with a cost of lower spin rates and probably a bit too early releases. The three finger grip might actually help you with shorter shots. And if you really don't want to learn a proper sidearm, reducing the mobility and exaggerating the palm to the sky might actually save you from doing this. With high speed drivers, the three finger grip is very unreliable because you have such a little amount of um, traction here that you might always release a bit too early and show the bottom of the disc to the target. That being said, you can learn to throw more understable discs and you can actually benefit from that. But with the cost of the spin rate and power. If you do this 
compared to this, you know what I mean. But if you use the three finger grip, it's practically impossible to use your whole wrist. And that's the secret. So it's very hard to keep over. Uh, for me, it's at this point impossible because I've done this so many times. I've done this for years. I switched to these more conventional grips. But when I feel unsure about the release, I will switch to a three finger grip. But again, I'm not saying this is the best grip. If you have an ambition to throw hard sidearm and to learn how to throw like a proper professional, this might not help you. This is a band-aid solution. So if you have troubles with the sidearm, wobbly, inconsistent release, especially with mid-rangers and putters, this might actually be the solution. I'm not, of course, guaranteeing anything, but for me, this was the lifesaver when I was on the peak of my game back in 2009 and 10 when I was 980 rated and I was pretty confident with my sidearm approaches. Basically, all the approaches I did, no matter the angle, was a sidearm approach. I used overstable drivers for 100 footers. I could use putters for 200 footers. It didn't matter. It was so reliable that I could use basically any disc and I knew what I was doing just because I used the three finger grip. The reason I haven't talked about this earlier is because I don't really think that anybody should use this grip. But what the hell, I'm not responsible for your actions. I'm just saying that if you find this helpful, do give it a try and thank me later. If you find this is total bullshit, it will ruin your game, well, don't do it and give me a thumbs up anyway. Thank me later. <laughs> so if you find this video helpful, please like, subscribe, whatever, if you feel like it. No pressure, really, I don't care. But I would appreciate if you gave me a comment and a like. It would help me with my YouTubing career. If you don't feel like it, don't do it. That's the way we live our lives. Bye.